Hey everyone, back over here at the Dino Shop getting everything set up. Uh, Trevor with Motion on TV is coming by with his new C6 E06. It was actually totaled and he's putting it together for Drift Week and all of that. So I uh, got the Dino set up. It's been a minute since we used it. Things have been crazy, but we got it back set up. And uh, he's gonna bring it over and we're gonna see what it makes. Make a nice baseline test for him. And he's gonna put, I think, heads cam and an intake, like just a cold air style intake on it. Um, I'm not sure what else and see what it picks up see what it makes and then he's actually heading to uh, Drift week, so we'll uh, wait for him to get here, and then we'll get started What in the world is that? Inside that thing shoot <laughs> Like what you got inside this thing? What's the mods? What are we doing here? doesn't even have to like get up and like scratch it or anything Keep going definitely had the most different vehicles on the dyno. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've probably had the most vehicles on the dyno. Yeah. Well, I guess after this, I'll probably have more vehicles than you, right? Yeah. Because you've only done Bernie and Clyde. Yeah. You well, you've done the S550, the Civic, and now this. The Civic multiple times. Yeah. Let's like put on here. What is it? How'd you get it? What's the story behind it? All right. So I was on Facebook Marketplace scrolling when, uh, when I probably shouldn't have been and uh, found this in a Facebook group, uh, 2009 Chevy Corvette C6 Z06, uh, which has the, the LS7 in it. It's got the TR6060 six-speed manual, uh, aluminum frame, big O 325 wide tires on the back, uh, dry sump system. This is the bigger, or this is the 08 plus, so it has like the bigger dry sump system and tank and has like an external oil cooler. And so this is kind of like the one, 17,000 miles, uh, previously salvaged title, but the guy who I got it from, he actually bought it three days previous, was driving it home in the rain from Houston to Dallas. That was when, it was like two or three months ago when all that hurricane stuff yeah. was going on. Hit a huge rainstorm, uh, was going by a semi, he splashed a bunch of rain basically over into that lane and uh, basically just sent him, you know, hydroplane, went into the center median. You know those, uh, you know, the sticks basically with the cable. Yeah, the cable guardrail stuff. And yeah. so went through that, spun this thing around, Got and, things uh, everywhere on it. Oh much. yeah, so literally every <laughs> single panel, every single panel on this thing had some sort of bodywork. So the cable went over the roof, so it, it cracked the windshield, you know, basically wiped over it. Uh, you can see I had to rebuild this. The cable actually came right here and sawed into this. Like the cable was right here. And imagine like your head is <laughs> yeah. right here as you're doing like crazy. 60 miles an hour and there's a cable like sawing right next to you so when you got it this door is pretty much non-existent it's just like the inner yeah it inner was basically piece. the door panel yeah like that's what it was it was like the bar that clips in and the door panel that was the only thing that was there uh front fender was gone this whole bottom piece from basically like right here down well actually i think i had about right here uh i basically rebuilt made that whole piece it's still in primer still needs a little bit of work but we're leaving for well actually today i was actually supposed to be on the road for drift week um but we're just going to end up skipping the first track so that buys me like four or five more days to actually i mean when we go tonight is basically we're gonna take it back to the shop as soon as we get off the dyno yank the drivetrain out of here do the clutch <laughs> the heads the cam Everything. the angle kit like all <laughs> everything basically car. everything in like three days and we still need to wrap it wow dude and, and, got, and it's not like drift week it's like drift month like it's a long it's like time or a couple weeks two weeks <laughs> yeah it's so wild. i think it's a, a total of if if we would have did everything start to finish it was going to be a little over five thousand miles Amazing. uh and i don't even know how many hours driving it but basically starts on the fourth and ends the 19th or the 17th okay in florida wow so i mean that's yeah it's you're basically gone two weeks completely. i gotta get this thing dyno you gotta get it done up and then we gotta dial it in and then we're gonna come right back over here <laughs> and uh you know throw it throw the old built-in race tune-up on it and uh send you on your way yeah well, so sounds like we better get busy <laughs> yeah we got we got lots of things <laughs> Beast. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> 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 
sounds like you blew all the cobwebs out of it. So that, that was only 160 miles an hour. It literally went, woo, I was like, woo, look at that. They're just rolling around there. 160 all the way. We went to seven and we did 160. Yeah, you can definitely smell the cats. Yeah, yeah. they're pumped. So is that how much power it made? Yeah, we'll have to look at it. We'll see. It, it should do better than that. So we'll have to yeah. look at everything and check it. <laughs> That's not... I, like, I think it would make like high threes or low fours is what I was thinking. Yeah. So I was we'll looking at at least again. four maybe, but I guess it is rear wheel drive and make 505 crank and we're in Colorado. Oh, and... Yeah, it should be. We'll take a look at it. So move, all right, so I moved the ground around a little bit. Um, we're gonna try it again with a little bit longer hold time on it, see if it makes more of a consistent wrap. Uh, Dino's been real consistent otherwise with numbers back to back, so I don't know what I'm running into with difficulty today uh, doing it, but let's try it. I'm ready, I wanna take a nap. You're gonna take a nap? That's what walk. tuners do, they just sit there and the <laughs> computer does its thing. And you just say, well, I was painting that car till four in the morning, so I was like, like this seat's pretty comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Alrighty, so we actually ended up downloading a new software. The box got updated and then needed new software, so trying that to see if that solves the issue. Um, Try and diagnose it at this point. It's been a minute since I've been on it, and we had a little issue with one of them, got that all fixed, and now just make sure everything's working uh, since it's the first car that we've been back on with it, and just trying to see what we need to do. should have made like 505 unless they were underrated a little bit from the factory so i was figuring this thing would make like 430 ish on a hub dyno uh you know man it's about 50 percent drivetrain loss but i don't know these cars are probably pretty efficient i would assume drivetrain loss with the six speed the torque tube training it back like that's how they're designed so i'm really wonder what drivetrain loss you get out of a z06 because this is pretty interesting that it i mean if it makes somewhere near that mid four range just as it sits that's it's pretty dang good so uh Try to back up that number now and see what happens. So there it is. Sometimes you just got to update the software, I guess. So the box was updated at one point in time, and uh, I don't know if there must have been a different software change in there or something. So whatever it is, that is updated. Everything seems happy. We're going to make another one, make sure three back to back. Trevor's actually going to add a degree of timing, and then you're going to pull this thing apart and modify it. We're going to start on it tonight. I like it. Have the motor out by morning or what? something hopefully the whole <laughs> bottom of it this thing's gonna be crazy i mean it would have been nice to just leave it stock like, it would have been kind of cool just like like literally we could just wrap it throw a seat in it in the angle and and just go go have fun yeah i mean that would be that still sounds pretty nice right now. still doesn't sound like a bad idea but you you are risking that like valve drop issue yeah so the the, the ls7s have this issue where i guess the the way the rocker pushes the valve down it like pushes it into the guide so it like eggs out the guide and then the valve can like wiggle in there and then it just breaks and then you destroy like a, and then you you're know. Just stranded somewhere between here and Florida. Here in Florida is with like a $10,000 motor that, you know. It's not worth it. 
Had, like these things have like titanium rods and stuff. Yeah, they're in them, awesome. They're, they're like expensive. Super. Well, apparently they're super efficient. I think the whole drivetrain. I'm curious to look it up and like yeah. compare what it's making to the hubs. So it should be a little more than a wheel. So even if it's 440, 450, like that's 20. percent So that means it's only at like maybe 10 percent drivetrain loss. 10, mm. Like it's hardly anything. Yeah. And maybe these things are that efficient. I mean, well, with it being like a torque tube, I mean, it has it does have the drive shaft too, but the transmission is essentially in the back. Right. So, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. It, it's an, it, it is an interesting deal. It's cool, though. Hell yeah. You're pressing the pedal all the way down. It would only show 85% in the logs, so. GM life. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, but. Well, I feel it. it. Dang, I need to get me one of these. They're kind of nice. No door panel at all. This is like the nicest roughest z06 on the planet it is <laughs> like the 17,000 miles and stuff it's weird it is weird now you got it though all right push to start no key Ooh, no key push to start you probably just put her in there guys Trevor uh, threw me the car to make a pull bring up here about 2500 rpms click her on let it lock down and it'll start making a pull With your little, for your added timing, or you weren't flooring it all the way. Or I wasn't. 482. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad, man. That's not bad at all. So there we go. Real consistent now, back to normal. 478, 474, 482, and 475. Uh, 482 is after it cooled down a little bit. It's such a weird car to drive. Yeah. Like, because driving it on the street, like, it feels slow. But then you look at the speedo, <laughs> yeah. and you're just you're like, oh really? Oh, this thing's rolling, yeah. So I had a buddy. He said he had one of these. A C6 had a thousand wheel, and Great. he said it felt slow. Yeah, they're just super efficient it, cars. It's like and... it's like a GTR. Like they're just <laughs> yeah. they mask speed so well because they're just such a good car. Like my yeah. Civic, at 500 horse, feels like it's your thing was never designed to go anything yeah. like that. Yeah. But this thing, like stock <laughs> 500 horse, feels like you're just like driving Civic. Miss Daisy out you know, here, it's, yeah. it, it's crazy, but uh, I'm excited to get the heads and cam on it. Yeah, now, we, so what we're going to do is, uh, Trevor's going to go do those mods. We're going to leave the settings in the computer, the load, everything. Test runs exactly the same. We'll bring it back and see what and it then does. Huh? I'm going to hook a trailer to it and tow and go <laughs> dri driving around the country like 5,000 miles that's or so. crazy. Towing a trailer, drifting, and beating the absolute crap out of this thing. And that's why we're that's doing the, the heads and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure, just to make sure. Well, none of us can quite leave the car stock, so. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of wish it. I, like, got to, like, drive it stock for a little bit more. So that way, like, yeah. when when I get the extra power and all the stuff, it's like, oh, man, that was, I, I, I wish I would have did this a long time ago, you know? But, like, like now it's, I'm just going to get in and it's going to be amazing. But you what? Probably I, on the street have five, ten miles of driving it, if that? Less than that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before we, and it literally, like, you like quick shift it into second and it would just like spin the tires which i know they're 325s they're old you know so they're not like sure. they're not like hard as a rock but they're not like a new stuff new soft sticky right. tire that has yep. some heat in it you know but it was just funny you know just like flooring it and just <laughs> it was just like like spinning all crazy but uh these things as drift cars are amazing you wouldn't think that a like it makes sense though because yeah, oh, yeah. a good drift car is a good race car Great transmission you know. for it. I mean, torquey engine. Yeah. V8 power it's got 50 50 thing. weight distribution. Uh, you get tons of, of angle. You just like cut the stock knuckles and like like oh, CNC really? them out and just put a new, basically a pickup point in it. And uh, go. yeah, the stock diff and everything is good. Like they, they got big brakes. This one has an aluminum frame, so it only weighs like 3,100 pounds. That's crazy. Probably weighs a little bit less now. Since <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite have everything here. That's oh, awesome, man. Oh, it's, it's gonna be dope. So can't wait to see. I mean, a few days and you'll have it modded. And 
I mean, hopefully by tomorrow it's running and doing something. Because we, we don't have very much time. It's, this is true. So it's Thursday at 7 p.m. at night. We need to be... Is it Thursday? When? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. You're a little... <laughs> I was like, no, I was like... I didn't realize your days are much. starting to just blend blend together. It's getting well because we worked all weekend. But that's too. what we figure. You got to be on it by what Thursday or Friday. Try to be yeah. back over here and tune in it. Yeah. And then everything's got to go perfect so you can hit the road. Yeah. Yeah. Hook up the trailer and then the first the first stop is in Houston, so that's 16 hours away. Crazy. So. Right on. Mustang man. did it. So and that was a way crazier swap than this. Right. No so. doubt. Yeah. Absolutely. It's gonna be cool. I feel like I'm kind of cheating with this car. Like it's just gonna be. I feel like it's just gonna be so good out of the box. You better knock on some wood ASAP. Car, how about some fake some carbon? Car, that'll some, work. Some fake carbon. Some faux carbon. <laughs> well, guys, I think we're gonna get it unhooked. We got our good baseline now. Uh, just a little technical difficulties there with the software, but now that's all updated. Everything seems perfect. Um, little glitch in the matrix, I guess you could say. Get this thing unloaded, get him working on it, and we'll be back over here in a few days. So how, how much power do you think it's going to make? Heads cam. Heads cam plus 100. Plus 100, so 5. 100, 110. So, yeah, so... Uh, I mean, it would be sick to see 600. Five, yeah, it'll be like right there. 585, maybe 590, yeah, maybe. It'll be like right there. Right be, we'll let it sit for an hour. <laughs> yeah. And do a just Ice a, the intake and just, everything, right? <laughs> just do a nice pull. Then camera going out of focus there. But uh, getting a phone call, and it's time to go home. So let's get this thing undone. Bye, right, Trevor. Bye. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is it. Again, we got a good baseline. He'll be back here in a few days. To uh, I'm gonna help him tune it on the HP tuners, and we'll see. Hopefully, I'm guessing about another 110 horsepower probably out of that thing with heads and cam. And uh, yeah, so that'll be it. Another dyno video for you guys. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.